Good morning, everybody. We're getting ready to do the uh, some live trading with the Neckpix binary buster. Uh, coming up on 6:30 on the 14th, and uh, no trades. So we'll be uh, we've obviously timed out our remaining time. So we'll just take a look at uh, 6:45. The Canadian uh, trade we did uh, last week live. It did expire in the money. Profitable. So remember we went long on the news and we do have actually quite a bit of news uh, today at 8.30. Let's take a look at that. We've got uh, U.S. retail sales and PMI and retail. So uh, a lot of things here that will affect the dollar right at 8.30. So again, we could take a, uh, a bet, you know, take a $100 bet before there if we get a signal. And then of course if it's looks like the number is wrong, we're in the wrong direction, we can immediately double the bet and take the opposite trade. So we'll, uh, we'll be ready to do that. We'll kind of play a news trade. Uh, so we'll just kind of look to see if these numbers are uh, ahead or behind and then we'll place our order. Okay, let's see if we can get uh, really wasn't any trades prior to uh, here at 7.09. We got two minutes for this uh, trade to maybe come back up. Touch it to go short. Probably uh, there's a lot of anticipation. The market's just been back and forth. Let's see if we can get this. Got about a minute and a half. I'll let you know if we do. Okay not able to get this trade. We ran out of time. Uh, about three minutes to go. So kind of taking a look. Uh, we really haven't had any any uh, signals for trades. I mean you had this one here at 50, never came to the entry. Uh, this one came uh, three minutes prior, so again can't take that trade. This one came you know about three minutes prior, no trade. Um, so really nothing. So this this was the first opportunity we had and this one came just a little bit early you know with about nine minutes left to go so you know you probably could have you, you know could have maybe grabbed it and it looks like it will do uh, good in the next minute but uh, you know wasn't until after that candle so I mean if you grab that one you uh, would do well We'll just wait for the next one. I imagine the market's just a little unease waiting for that 8.30 news, so that's what we'll be looking to trade. Again, coming up on 7.30, no trades. Okay, we're coming up on 8.15. Uh, you know, so we're about 15 minutes out of the news announcement, and got about a minute left if I want to take a short. Obviously, there was some... Uh, quite a bit of uh, action right here just after 8 o'clock. So I think we're probably just going to wait for our 8.30 news. We'll position ourselves uh, ahead of that and then take a trade right after if we're wrong. Alright, they're selling it off. Okay, so we went short right here. We're going to wait for the news, although it is starting to increase. See, there was a nice uh, nice move down lower. We were looking, we had this signal, uh, and actually that signal right there, but it was kind of moving the other way. So didn't really have an opportunity to, uh, to make the 15 mark. And so we've gone short, anticipation of the news in three minutes. And then we'll just reverse our position and go long if it doesn't go our way. And we'll double up. There's our position. I meant to do $100. Uh, so I'll double up with, uh, I'll probably double up with 100 and I'll quadruple up if, uh, if this trade doesn't go our way. Looking at this trade, they gave me a really nice fill. My strike rate is uh, 56.42. So they really anticipated it um, going higher 
and so you know all I have to do is have it close below that so uh, let's just hope the news and our time works out again this will expire in 30 seconds okay yep, it's not looking good they're driving it up expiration I think it showed me out of the money there's the spike let's go ahead and run this up to a hundred dollars and go long okay you know you got a 50 50 chance and uh, let's just take a look at the expired positions yep they just took it out strike rate uh, expiry time 30 expiry rate was 56 46 6 so two four tenths of a pip I missed it so anyway so we're long now and What's my strike rate? 5908. 5908. There we go. All right, so again, now we just have to have the market close above that. Anyway, uh, we'll just see where this one goes, and I'll get back with you and see if we can't make some money for the day. Okay, about three minutes to go. Market's pulled back down. We're still green in the money. Let's see if we can get a nice little push in the next uh, three minutes. Okay, we'll be expiring in 40 seconds, and we're looking very solid in the green. So that will conclude our trading for the day. If you make money every day, you're always a winner. So with two trades, profit at $60, it was a news trade, and uh, worked out great. I mean, you know, obviously, if we just made the one trade, uh, yeah, it closed it on out. And that's the trade we lost. Give it a little refresh. And there's the trade we won. So uh, a win and a loss, all good. Again, profit of $60. All right, good trading. We'll see you later on in the week.